cooking with wine. It's so easy and fun. I love cooking with wine. Sometimes it even goes in the food. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One of my roommates from college, her mom like got us a thing that said that, and we were all like, thanks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to hang this up. That's a classic <laughs> apron slash coffee yeah. mug saying right there. Start from the top. <laughs> Welcome back to Homemade versus the Internet, where we watch trending recipe videos and try and recreate what we saw. So we only get to watch the video once. We don't get the recipe, but we do get a 60-second lifeline. And then at the end, we're going to judge what each other made and decide who made it better. All right, let's watch the video. Let's watch it. Instant Pot Cabernet Braised Beef Short Ribs that melt in your mouth. I've never used, well, I, that's a lie. I've used an Instant Pot before, but. I haven't. Really? That was not beef broth. <laughs> that was totally not beef. That is fake news. Whoa. Manual. Ah, Cabernet. You, it's like fry and that's the yeah. only one I know. Isn't an Instapot, it's a, the pressure cooker thing? It's a miracle, right? Instant you can do pot. Instant? Instant pot. It's two words. I'm going to sit up straight and say instant pot. <laughs> Are you gonna follow the recipe? I don't know. Are you gonna follow the recipe? I'm gonna it depends check. on what's in here. I might do an Asian thing just to see what happens. Let's Are you go. gonna do the pasta? Oh yeah. I'm gonna do rice. So. Close enough. I want tomato paste. I kind of want some herbs, like some cilantro. Oh, get parsley. Can parsley? I get some parsley? Yeah, I didn't see any. You came out better in the herb department. Yeah, let's go. Short ribs. Obviously crucial. I'm going to go with a little kind of Asian bastardization, Chinese, Korean thing. Saute some veggies. I've got some five spice, some soy sauce, poison, some Korean chili flake. Cabernet beef broth. It's going to be basically the same technique, which is just kind of a classic French kind of short, short rib braise. Got some egg noodles, which I will make. If there's going to be eight or nine short ribs come out of these two pots, why not have half of them be different? We'll see what happens. Hopefully the Instant Pot is my friend. Should we start cooking? Okay, before I even get started, I'm gonna go have a little powwow and use my lifeline with Nicole because I know that she uses the Instant Pot a lot, so hopefully she can help me out. Bestie, bestie, where are you? Instant Pot short ribs, beef in the Cabernet sauce. Do you remember this? Okay, so I'm gonna salt, pepper, dredge and flour, sear on the saute sear, setting. Just sear, sear, yeah. And then get it out, and then vegetables go back in. The saute that is till they're softened. Put your short ribs back in, then add your liquid. High pressure, 30 minutes, sealing. Make sure it's sealed. Thank you. You're such a loyal friend. She owes me. <laughs> I'm gonna get some time in rosemary really quick. Oh my god, 10 seconds after she has the settings, the cooker beeps three times on to indicate that the cooker has entered preheating cycle. <sighs> oh my lord. Do you know how to use this thing? Not particularly. Do you? No. How do I turn this on? Here. Is this? Here. I don't think you're. There you go. Mr. Fix It! <laughs> Whoa. That was kind of some Mario action right there. This is gonna be incredible. I hope I just fall in love with this machine by the end of this. I feel like I do love a pressure cooker. I mean, it knocks out three or four hours off the cook time of something like this. That's real savings. That's real savings if time is money. I put money in your pocket right here. What just happened? I went from skeptic to in internet shill. I am searing my short ribs. I'm putting some salt and pepper and I put a little Chinese five spice in there. So whenever you bread anything, the, like I said, this is not breading, but you're just kind of coating it. You want to season as many times during the process as you can. I mean, I'm kind of glad that I am doing this right now because I do feel like a big part of my job is just being like, oh, the Instant Pot is on sale, everyone go buy it, blah, 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 but I honestly don't know what all the hype is about. I think the idea with the Instant Pot is that you can do like a lot of things in one. You guys, buy an Instant Pot, e-commerce link below. Hey, what's an e-commerce link? For real? <laughs> It's like we get a little kickback every time someone opens their wallet on the internet. How do I get a piece of that? You don't. No. I cut myself again. <laughs> I'm Did sorry. Did you really? 
the vegetable peeler now. I can't win. You cut yourself with a vegetable peeler? What brand vegetable peeler did you cut yourself? That must be a really sharp, effective vegetable peeler. It's just, it's not the hardest sear. What would you normally do this in? That stove probably gets a searing surface a little hotter than the Instapot. But you don't have to worry about all those pesky dishes. I'll say this about the Instant Pot is that the fact that it is helping to popularize pressure cooking is impressive because I think it's something that chefs and restaurant chefs and whoever have long been proponents of. Like you can make chicken stock in 45 minutes as opposed to several hours. You can cook beans in 12 to 15 minutes as opposed to an hour. And there's really no compromise in quality. It's for the timid cook that wants bold flavors. Sold. <laughs> oh, look, I got some sear. This does things that, like, I mean, that's one of the good things about it. Like, it does things that advance cooking things. It makes it easier and doable for people that don't know those things. Like, I have starter golf clubs because I can't hit a freaking golf ball. Bad luck. There's a ringing endorsement. And Guess you're back. I'm back. <laughs> now I've taken the short ribs off after I seared them and now I'm cooking my vegetables with some fresh thyme and rosemary. So this is like a fermented, this is like a fermented kind of spicy, not spicy, but heavily spiced. Uh, it's kind of like a Korean-ish version of, um, not Korean-ish, but uh, Korean version of um, miso. It's a fermented soybean thing. Don't ask me to pronounce it, please. You know what the thing is, Sarah? What? I really feel like the Instapot is such a forgiving piece of equipment. Like, you know, you barely even have to follow the recipe. It kind of does most of it for you. You're so right, Robin. Dear Santa. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the thing, we're gonna have to take a little moment to figure out the pressure cooker setting yeah. of this thing because Blah. Oh my God. you know how long it took us to figure out how to saute stuff? That was like two lines in this book. There's like seven pages on how to freaking pressure cook. <laughs> pressure cooking, connect the power cord, blah, blah, blah. Select a pressure, soup broth, meat stew. I would say this qualifies as meat stew. This actually looks kind of yummy. You should like get a picture of that. Oh. No. Okay. Oh, wait. What about the vent? Thing? That's the part that's gonna blow your face off. <laughs> <laughs> E-commerce link below. <laughs> I'm still trying to decide if mine has started or off. <laughs> oh, I just went off. Oh, I just got like a game over tone. Do -do -do -do. I'm on a free man. So if this works like most pressure cookers, it will start trapping all that steam in. When steam stops coming out, that's the pressure cooking. I, I have to make some, some, some egg noodles. Oh yeah, I need to cook some rice. Yours is a lot steamier than mine, Sarah. See, yours just stops steaming. Did yours already go through that? Mine hasn't started steaming yet. Yeah, that's the sound it's gonna make, yes. Oh. Burn. Burn. It says burn. It now says it's burn. What? It really does say burn. That's not a setting. Like, why would that ever be a setting on anything? Why does my spot say burn? Select either high or low. Delay when the count. Uh, hold on, that just stop. Oh, look. Hold on, it just switched to your timer. <gasps> Uh, yes, it's counting oh, down. Wait, yours is counting down. You, I think you're just behind. Like it, it's, no, I'm, it's yes. getting there. Whoa. There it went. Yours isn't burning. I hate this No, thing. it took yours a minute to burn. High pressure, like the stakes of this battle. <laughs> so, uh, Sarah, what's kind of your strategy right now? <laughs> just hope for the best. Ecom link below. <laughs> you can do so much with an Instapot. Like if you get this technique down, you can do French, Korean. That's about it, really. 
those two. <laughs> I can't think of any more countries right now. My timer is going off now. And I guess I'm gonna open it. For quick release, turn the steam release handle to venting position to let steam out. So I'm gonna move this to venting. <laughs> did yours oh. pop up? Hell yeah, it did. Without hitting you in the face? I used tongs for safety. I feel pretty accomplished. Like, I don't think I've ever made short ribs before. Now I'm gonna go back to saute mode, add some flour, and call it a day. You're kind of at the mercy of what's in here at this point, because there's no, um, what did you do when that happened? You have to do the valves. You tongs. have to do it, it doesn't do it automatically. You can do it like that if you want to. I'm just gonna finish it with some of this sauce that I thickened and I am done so. Mm -hmm. Save the princess. Okay. I don't know how those short ribs will taste, but I am proud of myself. <laughs> I'm proud of you too. Thanks. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Bam. That's probably been taken. Pow! What about that? <laughs> They're very similar, actually. More similar than different, to be quite honest. Both of us just kind of free-forming a sauce. You know, she was inspired by the video. I went a little bit different than the video. I mean, I think that they both turned out pretty well. I'm kind of into that, to be honest. I want to taste them. I like your plating, Robin. Very Thanks. nice. <laughs> That's delicious. That's delicious. <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's very. Are you really <laughs> doing? Are you <laughs> actually doing that? It's, it's like sweeter than mine. I think yours differs from the video that it maybe you went more tomato paste and less wine. Kind of shines through, but I kind of like that. Tomato sauce and pasta. A lot of people don't think to put them together, but really? it actually it works in this. You want to swap? Yeah. Mine has a very um. Asian TV dinner feel to it. Because that kind of reminds me of takeout and this feels just more like red winey and like braised and like, I don't know, I like them both. Oh, are we judging now? Are we giving our preference? No, are I was just- declaring the winner? It sounds like you're declaring yourself the winner I mean, here. I do want to win this one. <laughs> Actually, I think, like I would eat both of these. For I think sure. that hers kind of naturally works a little. I think the Asian thing is fun and it tastes good and everything, but I'm, I'm willing to go with the Italian short ribs out of Woo! the instant pot. Yes! Oops. Whoa. <laughs> okay, just look, I like your short ribs, okay, <laughs> but that's, <laughs> I'm just talking about it. <laughs> that's a little creepy. <laughs>out we have our holiday season finale extravaganza to determine the all-time winner we're tied five to five in the meantime like comment subscribe thanks for watching our episode featuring the instant pot e link, link below. below we'll see you next time see ya let's do that the 70th time yeah um, no.